This is HMAR Mobile Tech. So I've got a tire off of my own personal vehicle here, and um, I'm, I'm not going to show the removal of the tire. But if you're gonna if you're gonna lift up a, any vehicle, you need to have a jack stand that's capable of holding the weight of the vehicle. Um, in my case, I'm using a three ton jack stand and then a three ton jack, and so. Um, yeah, so that should be pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you don't have an impact tool of any kind, then what you'll do is you'll use a breaker bar with your socket, and you'll loosen up the lug nuts about 50%, and then once you get it jacked up, then you can uh, loosen them up with a uh, ratchet and socket by hand. So um, uh, here's, the, uh, here's the, the screw that's stuck in there. And so... Um, What you'll need is a tire plug kit, and you'll need rubber cement. And I've already I've got an open package already, so um, you'll just feed one of these uh, little plugs just right through the one tool that looks like a um, like a needle. So you'll thread it through like a needle and uh, thread, and then you'll use this reamer tool to clean out the hole that the screw or the nail was in or whatever was in there. And um, this this isn't going to work for every single type of flat or you know situation but for the majority of them this is going to work for something this diameter a um, little bit smaller than a pencil and um, so if you have anything bigger than that this isn't going to help you you're going to need to get it patched or replace the tire uh, mine is not on the sidewall so I can use a plug kit um, if it's on the sidewall you cannot use a plug kit and um, uh, so this is a good candidate for a plug and so I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna rip that nail out with this reamer tool. I've already done it, but you'll just stick it in straight in. You don't want to go at an angle. You want to go straight in. Basically, uh, imagine where the tip will end if you push straight down, and you only need to go in about about maybe half of it, maybe about an inch, and then so you'll just go in and out a couple times just to give it a rough edge, and then. Um, You'll put a little bit of the rubber cement in the hole there, and then I already put some of it on the plug. And then you'll just basically go in, go in straight. Don't need to go sideways or anything. Make sure you just go straight in. Don't go towards the sidewall. And uh, you'll just go down all the way until it pushes through. And then you'll pull it out until it's just sticking out a little bit. And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. you got the plug in and your shirt's not leaking and and it's it, you know you've trimmed off the excess um, just just make sure that you you uh, study how I did my video uh, to make sure that you got it right so you know the before and the after and all that and then so inside your car door on the dr on the driver's side you'll look in and you'll see what your tire pressure should be for the front or tire uh, for the rear so in my case for the rear tire, it's 45 PSI, so you just want to make sure that you reinflate your tire to the proper tire uh, PSI specification. Uh, that way, you'll be good to go. And then you'll need to know your your torque specifications for the lug nuts. And if you want to know what the torque specification is for the lug nuts, um, what you can do is if you don't have a shop data program like I do, Mitchell or All Data you can call a tire shop and you can ask them as a courtesy to, to look it up on their computer and tell you what it is.